customers to show my favorite knife. I figured the best way to do that is to show you all of them starting out. But if you guys haven't seen Moo Moo Outdoors, I'll put a link in the description. He does a lot of uh, fishing offshore and off on the west coast. He does it from a kayak. And I, I love the, the footage that he films. So if you haven't checked him out, for sure do. I really enjoy his videos. Um, so let me get started here. The first one I got is just a general purpose knife pliers tool set. The next one is a Rata steak knife. And that's part of a set. This is a Tojiro DP, I think, DP10 or something like that. It's, I believe it's uh, VG10. It's Japanese knife, chef knife. This is, I don't know if a lot of people are familiar with this type of, it's not really a knife, but this is a Hori Hori. And on this side, you've got a serrated blade. On this side, you've got a uh, razor edge there. And then obviously it has your um, measurements, if you can see that. But it's kind of a cool little knife, blade type deal. This is a real cheap knife that my uncle got me. It's back in 1999, I guess it was. I don't know what IAAI in West Virginia, Virginia is, but uh, this is a Buck 110. This is a classic hunting knife that seems like everybody's got. This is a NWTF knife. Got that on an NW, NWTF banquet for entering something or other. And this is a, just a general knife that I got on Amazon. It's just a cheap Chinese knife. So, um, let me start out with my least favorite. I don't like that one at all. I don't really like serrated blades. Um, this chef's knife is really sharp, stays sharp. It's good steel. It's probably the best steel of all these knives. Um, honestly, this is a really cheap knife, but this is perfect for steaks. It's easy to sharpen. It's thin blade. It stays sharp. It's a rata knife, I believe, if I haven't mentioned that. Um, buck 10, 110. This is just a great it has great heft to it. It's a nice handle. Um, although I did let somebody borrow this the first time I bought it and a uh, chunk chipped out of the blade. So I had to work that blade, which isn't too hard, but um, it's decent steel. It's not, not the greatest. Um, well, I love the handle on this, the feel of it. Easy to clean. But in my opinion, the best ability is availability. And I got several of these NWTF knives at a banquet for entering, I think it was for a grill or something. And I entered several times and didn't win, but the kicker was you got these knives for every entry you had. I think I had five or six, so I keep one upstairs, downstairs, you know, each floor of the house and the kitchen, keep one in the car, keep one in the toolbox, and I keep one at the farm, however many that turns out to be. But um, the steel, quite honestly, it's terrible. <laughs> it's not great, you know, I can, maybe skin half a deer or a deer with it, but, uh, or one turkey. But, yeah, I've got so many of them I keep everywhere that it really doesn't matter. I just touch them up a little bit later on when I get a chance, but it, it'll do the job. And like I said, they're always around. You know, I can buy, I have 10 of these for the price of one good knife. Uh, so that's my collection. Now, with that, um, I wanna challenge somebody else this is somebody, uh, it's a buddy of mine that I met through YouTube, Shadescast. He, he is a farrier, does horse work. So he's been bugging me to give him a t-shirt. So right now, before I give him a t-shirt, I'm going to challenge him to uh, see his favorite knife. But he's a good guy. Check out his channel if you haven't done so. Um, and hope you enjoy that. So. Thank you very much for watching, and thank you to Moo Moo Outdoors for challenging me. Appreciate it.